Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I have an unboxing for you of the Asus EPad Transformer Prime. I've been waiting a while to do this. I just finally got mine yesterday at Best Buy. Uh, they didn't have any in stock, so I had to order one of 156 that were left in the warehouse. Uh, so maybe there's still one available out there for you to get your hands on. If not, you'll just have to wait. Anyhow, let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, on the box here, you have a pretty neat graphic of the actual Asus Transformer Prime. Plus a little uh, holographic picture of the keyboard, which does come separately. I'll be unboxing that later as well. Um, on the bottom of the box, you see just how thin this ASUS Transformer Prime is. According to ASUS, it's the thinnest on the market. I guess we'll see about that here in a second. On the side, it says that uh, it comes with HDMI support and NVIDIA Tegra processor and of course the Asus logo there as well. Nothing else really exciting on the box so we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up. And the first thing we see here is the Asus Transformer Prime with a little Android logo and some little facts about the Asus. We'll get into those specs here in a minute. For now we're going to put this over to the side and see what else came in this box. Uh, we have this little note here from EPAD Transformer, dear friends, thanks for purchasing, yada yada, that's great. And it gives you some little information on the specs of the Transformer Prime, which we will get into here in a minute. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. It has this nice, soft, cushiony uh, padding at the top of the box. That's a really nice touch from ASUS, ASUS, however you say it. My wife always gets ticked when I say ASUS. Anyhow, this is the warranty card and a little user's manual. What else is in here? Um, okay, this looks like a cleaning cloth. So we'll open that up. And it's nice and, and uh, thick. Man, this isn't like what I got with my television. Uh, this looks like it could really do some serious cleaning here. Clean lots of grease and fingerprints off of my screen, which I'm sure there will be plenty of those here after a little while. And this is the charger. It takes a USB cable, which is here. Uh, just regular USB on one end. And of course, their proprietary 40 pin uh, system on the other side. So we'll put away the box for now and take a look at what we really came to see the actual Transformer Prime, which is here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and unwrap this, this uh, bad boy here. Take off the plastic. And the first thing I notice is this really cool finish on the back. It just has this really nice metal brushed uh, finish there on the back with a Asus, Asus logo as well. And man, this thing really does feel light. I mean, if I compare it to my iPad 2, I don't know. They're very close, but I think that the Transformer Prime really does have the edge here. And as far as thickness, if we compare these two, you can't tell much of a difference there, but the Asus does look like it is a little thinner. It's 0.83 millimeters thick, or I should say 0.83 millimeters thin. It's very thin and uh, very lightweight. Man, if I was reading the uh, book on this or watching a movie and I was holding it up here trying to watch it, I think that my arms would tire a whole lot, a uh, whole lot less quick than they would on the iPad. I know that that has been a struggle for me watching movies on this bulky iPad too. It's hard to say bulky with that thing because I remember it used to be the thinnest, coolest, lightest thing on the market, but now this is. And uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into the Asus. We have uh, on the screen here, this is Gorilla Glass. So you could probably drop this and maybe you wouldn't shatter it like you would on the iPad. Everybody knows on the iPad too, if you drop it, you do shatter the glass on that screen. It's uh, very breakable, but this is not as breakable. Uh, this should be scratch resistant as well, although you probably wouldn't want to stick this thing in the pocket with your keys if you would actually stick this humongous thing in your pocket. Anyhow, 10.1 inches on the screen. You got 10 inches on the iPad screen. Uh, let's see, this one looks a little wider than this one. And let's see here. If we go on the back, we do find an eight megapixel camera and a flash. And up top, we do have a microphone and a power button. If we go to the side here, we have an audio jack, and also this doubles as a microphone input, which is pretty neat. On the bottom here, we have uh, where we connect the thing into the uh, charger port, and then also where you connect into the keyboard. 
and on this side it looks like we have a volume rocker uh, HDMI port and also a little SD card slot uh, it already comes out of the box with let's see I'm trying to see if I can get this thing to pop out comes out of the box with 32 gigabytes but if you wanted to add some storage you could do that as well on the front here we do have a front facing camera this is a 1.2 megapixel camera uh, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on and it looks like it's running out of the box honeycomb and it says I don't have much battery left here so I we'll have to kind of get through this part quickly uh, so even with honeycomb this thing is running really fast it looks like all, all the lagginess that was associated with uh, honeycomb tablets in the past is gone thanks to the quad core uh, Tegra 3 processor now when I say quad core I mean it has four cores plus a fifth core so the four cores run at full power and provide this thing with this snappy look and feel as well as uh, really great performance in graphics with your gaming and things of this nature the fifth core is for when this is not doing uh, very intensive things or if it's just turned off so that it can consume minimal power on that fifth core because that fifth core will boot up and it'll just run off that fifth core when it's doing like I said minimal things on the screen here this is a 10.1 inch LED backlit super IPS plus screen uh, the resolution is 1280 by 800 megapixels I'm sorry not megapixels uh, anyhow <clears throat> this thing is a whole lot brighter and clearer than the iPad 2 screen in my opinion it just looks a whole lot better uh, the resolution is a whole lot higher than the iPad's resolution so you're gonna notice a big difference there uh, the like we mentioned the CPU is a Tegra 3 It's the very first to market the very first quad core processor to market with that fifth core uh, Tegra I'm sorry Nvidia is now calling that the quad core or four core plus one uh, because before I guess people had misunderstood and thought that it was just four cores but it's actually the five uh, you do have one gigabyte of internal memory uh, I'm sorry, one gigabyte of RAM plus 32 gigabytes of internal memory. And like I had mentioned before, the 1.2 megapixel camera and the 8 megapixel on the back. Uh, this thing does come with honeycomb, but it's very easily updated to uh, ice cream sandwich. All you have to do is go into the settings and update it. So guys, I'm going to be bringing you tons of coverage on this Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader, how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery, and flash your very first ROM. So you want to make sure to subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E9 of 3. Also be sure to check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device, phone, or tablet. Uh, and guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.